My name is Ialo Amadila and I'm the founder of Ethnic Essentials. So Ethnic Essentials is a natural hair care um, product uh, range. Uh, it's a brand that was founded um, to sort of cater to the needs of um, type 4 hair or ethnic hair types, which is um, considered to be quite difficult to manage. So my journey to creating this hair care brand started with um, the frustration of not uh, finding products on the market that were catering to uh, my hair type and um, it was difficult to find products that um, worked well for me and um, that's when I started um, mixing up a few ingredients until I eventually um, registered the business and started um, producing products. Um, sourcing of ingredients is um, a bit uh, difficult but we've incorporated um, Namibian made ingredients such as um, the oils like uh, marula oil, Kalahari melon seed and Zimenya oil which are pressed locally by uh, women in northern Namibia so we source from Kriya and uh, Eudafano Women's Cooperative so those are the locally sourced uh, product, um, ingredients that we use in our products um, but a lot of um, other ingredients we import from South Africa, um, such as uh, our, our surfactants and other raw material, materials that we use in the products. Um, we also source uh, our containers from South Africa, so most of our products are actually from South Africa, except for maybe 30% of our ingredients. Um, that has been quite difficult because sometimes you don't have the time to wait for a consignment to arrive and um, it's sometimes it's a lot easier to just go to a local store or a local manufacturer and purchase what you need to purchase as opposed to importing um, what you need. Considering that my business is still quite in its infant stages um, I believe that um, being part of a program will allow me to um, have access to information that I will definitely need um, as we grow as a business because that, that is the idea. And um, I believe that the information that I will get from the program will once applied, um, allow me to grow my business further. So um, I would encourage other women that are in business or that are thinking about starting a business to definitely do that um, and enroll in um, these programs because as women we generally um, don't really have access to this information or we tend to shy away from opportunities such as these. So I would encourage other women to grab the opportunities that um, are available to us. And um, for Ethnic Essentials, I, I foresee um, growth and um, definitely um, once I've applied what I'm currently learning or that I'm going to learn from the program, there's defi then definitely going to be a change. And um, of course, the, the goal at the moment is to scale because um, we're not meeting demand because we're not de meeting the current demand locally. Um, I've, I, I've had people um, ordering products and because of time and the space that is limited and um, maybe lack of staff members, I'm not able to always fulfill orders. Even um, being stocked locally, also is a problem because I haven't scaled to that level yet. So hopefully once I've learned and applied, um, we can look at growing the business and then growing it to, to be export ready. Hi, my name is Ialo and this is where Ethnic Essentials is manufactured and formulated. Over on this shelf is where we saw our raw materials, our ingredients. Once we receive it, we check it and then we store it here. Um, over there um, is where we do the production. Um, 
to do the production that's where we manufacture the products and then um, package it over there and then we store our bottles and labels in those containers over there and um, and the final product is um, then placed on these shelves for delivery to clients and or courier to clients.